Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hippodesta. Welcome to episode 5, <laughs> I think, <laughs> of Blood Omen 2 Legacy of Cain. Uh, this one is quite longer than the than two Soul Reavers. I guess Blood Omens win over Soul Reavers in length, not necessarily in quality. But what can you do? You can only have one quantity or quality, not both, apparently. So, I decided to go with the wireless controller so I don't have to crook my back at all and uh, damn I forgot to delete that save let's try to remember after this so it was canyons yeah so we gotta finish the canyon bit and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna go into something dust in called eternal prison which is I think what Carter wanted to see yesterday yeah all right the bodies are stacked with fresh blood. Wait, does that mean that all of them are back? It also means that the coffins will be back. Yep, all the bodies are stacked. Let's look for the coffins. Cheat on some lore. Well, it's more like exploit than cheat, but yeah. It's a little more finicky. I think I do. Yeah, so as far as I noticed, yeah, they're remembered. So the sensitivity is a little different. It's just a little readjustment. Sis, you around there? Missy Sissy? Could you not jump over that? <laughs> is it one of those like cock blocky barricades look at this ah! <laughs> oh it saddens me I've seen that somebody's doing a remake of this I hope they're doing a good job Boop. and then we wanted to go towards the gate so I can go back there you go. well that's going on just gonna 
peek around the corner, see if there's a chest or two or three. I don't remember if there was a chest here yesterday. They probably don't want to put chests near checkpoints so people couldn't wouldn't abuse that. Couldn't and wouldn't abuse that. Oh yeah, I forgot. Damn it, Kurenko will be very happy if I do that. I forgot to add the new sound effects that I made. Wait, I think I can do it right now. Could you walk around this and just check for chests? Uh, while I do that, Sasha's gonna control Kane. I think I can do it. Yes. Song request, extra quotes, timers, commands, maybe, it was it commands, was it sound effect, where is sound, sound files, here we go, sound files, add, pick, uh, streamlabs chatbot, sfx, hip tesla, Yes. Automatically generate command, I guess. I think. Everyone. No cooldown. Let's see now, commands. Oh yeah, don't automatically generate commands. I have to do it. I have to do it myself. Group. Oh yeah, triangle, hold triangle. Thanks, love. Submit. <laughs> that was a blue ball one. Thanks, love. Remember not to stray too far from the village. On square, but if you can do it, it'll be highlighted. What else? What else? Where is the sound files? Damn, so so many things here. Add more, pick, damn it, always go to the same folder, why would you go to another one? Well, I'll just copy that address, like, who doesn't have internet? She doesn't have internet? Oh, hold on, um, I can't see the chat right now. Not automatically generate command. And then do it here. It's gonna be awesome. Here we go. Zero. That, that's one. And then two. Add another one. Uh, sound files. 
Yeah, I should have done this before, but there was literally no time. I just jumped straight out of the shower here. Had it. Oh, wait, I have a fucking keyboard and mouse here. <laughs> Why am I torturing myself with this? There were three new sound effects, right? Yeah. These names. <laughs> Let me check this. Alrighty, Luka. Alrighty. Yeah, I saw that now. I don't know if she heard me. Probably not. But that's okay. One more, one more. I'm giggling here to myself. Yeah, that should be it. I'm gonna reduce these cooldowns. None of my viewers actually abuse this shit. So. Thanks, love. While you do that, I can actually fix this. Yeah, you can save. Uh, actually, you can drink all the corpses because health is way down. There's a lot of them. Old triangle when they're red. They don't have much blood, each of them, but should be enough to sustain you. Yeah, <laughs> in the true Legacy of Cain vein. Legacy of Cain vein, I like that. I love it. Okay, and what's the other one? Yeah, they're all there now. No cooldown on these. Follow age, uh, playing one minute global. Alright, alright, alright. Let's test it. How do you change page? Maybe one? Yeah, there we go. Alright. I can change that to have less than... To show more than ten. Let's try... What if I delete this? Yep, 
Yeah, I think that's it actually. It should be 10 per page. I like that. So you can type the page number if you want to see more. There we go. Thanks, love. And you drank all the peasants. Brutal. <laughs> that's brutal even by my standards. <laughs> Alright. Thank you very much. You helped me a lot. Plus, you got me those blue balls <laughs> in the chest. There's three of them, yeah. C. On page two, yeah. Or on page one. <laughs> you didn't even see me come. I can't wait for Kurenko to come here. I'll be very happy. Okay, was there anything on this yeah, I'm side? I'm coming now? behind him. Look at this. I came so fast, his head fell off. <laughs> yeah, that's the conjoined one. <laughs> There's an asshole. I came so fast, his head fell off. Ah, I have a good, clean controller now. Oh, fucking AP. Oh, that's just bullshit, sir. Fuck you. Cost me my axe. They're actually demon spiders. Hey zombie! Hello! Hello, welcome to the stream. Zombie! Zombie! <laughs> How are you, bro? Enjoying your day off? Your off day? Hey, there's no hole here. I've been tricked. Hmm, we weren't doing much before you came in. I just literally started this moment. Sasha was just, ooh, looking for, oh, I hope that's gonna be, can I go Misty? No, is he gonna see me? Hope not. Please be a chat. Yes! Power axe. Now we can fight, sir. Sasha was like clearing the remaining collectibles around in the area while I was adding new sound effects. There you go, bitch. You're always sad when we're not playing Outbreak. Ha! Fuck you over, sir. Fuck the you over. Ah. Oh, I see. I hear guts wriggling. They're demon spiders, actually. I saw it today on the wiki. A giant legion of spiders. Oh, that's water. That's not good. I need to jump over. Duh. That was that. That. Water. Yeah. Really tricky water. Great vampire cane can jump over a lamppost. It, it wants to have me to go to the edge. We probably can do it from the other one, but... Wow, edge to edge. No room for fuck up. No room for fuck ups. Those are humans? Humans. 
Let's see what they have to say. Nothing. So rude. Can't jump over them. You just wave to me? You know who I am? Wait, there's so much here. There's a road ahead, apparently, but there's also this. Oh god, these canyons. They don't fuck around with the canyons. That's a checkpoint. I'm not gonna jump there. I'm gonna jump here. Oh shit, I'm going straight into water. Cuz life sucks. I wanna kill these guys. Ah. Can they come to me? It will be fun. Yep. So it just helps the vampire. I hate that. Better draw him back. My axe is about to explode. That was a little cheap, but okay. You dead? Okay, I probably need to stop the... Uh, Hey, Anchi! I probably need to stop that field. Whatever they're called. The glyph field. The, the, the name it whatever you want. Good to see you, sister. Lupka was here, but she left. Uh, straight onto the checkpoint. Look at this. It's gonna be awesome. Wow! Yeah. Oh. I have to take his weapon then. Are they vulnerable to water? Or is it just me? Damn it! Thought there was gonna be something here. So I need to go around again, huh? Huge and sprawling map, really. The canyons. <laughs> yeah, we can badmouth her now. <laughs> Where's Zoki, Kizoman? Where's my friend Zoran? <laughs> Here we go again. Yeah, I'm coming behind them. Look at this. I came so fast, his head fell off. <laughs> Damn it. Not even gonna use a weapon. On these oh! They, they, they. I think he's waiting for me to make a mistake. Berserk is like, fuck you. Wow, I killed him. My claws are as powerful as the fucking glaives and axes now. Maybe because of the level ups? Your hands become more powerful than the than the weapons. Definitely faster than anything I can pick up. What? Backwards projectile vomiting. Let's not fall into the water like yesterday. Yeah. Do I have to hold it? It's gonna fall off immediately. Yeah. Yep. Let's check the other side first. No! Damn! 
There's nothing there. It's just a trap so you can fall into water and insta die. I, I swear some of the areas are made just to so you, you would fuck up. Both are as bad. <laughs> Both are equally bad. Yep. Human! No, leave the human alone! Like instantly blocked, right? Come here, boy. They are weak. I mean, when a giant demon spider thing attacks them, I wouldn't expect them to be strong. Really killing them for, for lore is more of a waste of time than actually useful. The switch is broken, so this is like constantly up. We can't put it down, but how the fuck did they make it to stop the vampires, but not the goddamn demon spiders? They didn't know about the spiders. You think? Yeah. Oh, this is the other side of the bridge. You mean on both sides? Yeah. As the architects. <laughs> yep. Can you enter any of these? What do you No, nah, probably just low res low res stuff that's where I came from it's the other side of the gate so this one's up too ah, I need to go up actually I'm probably over it okay let's drink that guy's blood and get his glaive Not as bad as I thought it would be. The controller. <laughs> the game is as bad, but it's still enjoyable. I mean the, the the sensitivity of the controller, it's not horrible. I can still do this. And I can kinda yeah, just more sensitive and stop like the outer dead zone is I still have this much. Yeah. But it's I not Yeah, it's different. Well, the game's controls are strange by themselves, oh, yeah. but the sensitivity of the controller is not as bad. I was, I know it's worse than the original controllers. I mean the the wired ones, but it's not that worse. I just have Chinese stickophobia. Hold on. So I need, oh, I need to activate power from somewhere up there. Up there, where the demon spiders proliferate, where the fart switches operate. Up there, I will jump across this chasm now. Across this chasm. I'm gonna save. I don't like it when it gets this like itchy glitchy. I'm just gonna make sure everything's okay here. And oh god, I forgot to put the alarms on. There's so much to do for the stream preparation.
since this internet thing's happening. Yeah, I can use this. Alarm. 1959 and 2159. There we go. That's it. That's it. Those are the two we need. Ha! Huh. I think this table was like jackpot. Let them take our furniture. We'll get new furniture with blackjack and hookers. In fact, forget the furniture. Two, three, four, five. Oh, so I have to mind control it. Oh, he. He bent Bertolucci himself. Someone will come to rescue me. Someone will come. Did you hear that? I mean, did you see that? Well, I mean, did you hear him? Jesus. I gotta run before it stops itself, maybe? coming okay no Nice. Oh my god, it returned. Okay, in the last moment. Okay, we did it. I just gotta... It almost went to the wrong gate. <laughs> so what now? Huh. It is a little puzzly. Hey locksmith, welcome to the stream. Hello, how are you? Oh, is that a seraphan and a bug? Let them kill each other. I guess one of them's for me. Oh. There are no pushovers. Oh. I don't know, I just thought... I thought Blood Omen 1 had the ridiculous blood drinking. But this just... This is too much, man. This is... No. <laughs> The, the the straw slurping of sound effect makes it even funnier. I think they should have made something like Blood Omen 1. Top down. Maybe even top down. I mean, this isn't a bad like gameplay camera, but it's no Zelda. It's no Soul Reaver. And if they wanted it to be different than Soul Reavers, and more like Blood Omen, well, again, it's weird though because Blood Omen 1 was so, so much a link to the past on steroids and Soul Reaver 1 was Ocarina of Time on steroids, kinda. And then Soul Reaver 2, which has fucking time travel and could totally be Ocarina of Time, <laughs> it's a completely different game. And this... That happens in an alternate timeline, let's say, like a certain mask of certain Majora. 
again is its own thing. This should be at like 90.95. Oh boy, here we go, more bugs. Damn, they require really fast reflexes. If you fuck up, you lose a lot of health. Did I drink the Seraphan over there? I think I have. The one back, yeah. Yeah, these two are dead. Something killed them. Look at the windmill going crazy. I'll just serve myself why did he change clothing those like to hide because at the start of the game they were like oh have you ever seen a vampire we never seen a vampire but now I gotta hide my face makes no sense makes no slightest sense do I want to go forward oh something's written in blue Oh, that's just... Bats? Birds? I'm gonna say birds. Someone's lunch. Hey, I know what this canyon reminds me of. Final Fantasy XI, Gustaberg. Right? My favorite starting area. My favorite area? Well, it's not my favorite area, but I love Gustaberg a lot. That's where I started playing FF11. There's a rock and fucking rock. Oh my god, this is great. It, I mean, it looks good. Look, there's a lake or whatever below. If you're not a vampire, you're not weak. That's fodder. I think. It looks. Oh my god, it might be fog. Look, it's falling into the abyss. I think it's water, but I'm not sure. Either way, it's ve it's very nice. If it's not water then it's just dangerous not falling over and there's just one very thin plank I will but while I'm looking around I'm losing health so they're, they're my insurance policy ah. oh the end of the level no be gone, Dark One. I did not send for you. And yet, here I am. So I see. Cain, the Disruptor. The pebble in the pond who destroys all he touches. You know me, woman? Better than you know yourself. And do you know why I'm here? Perhaps. I seek information, and I must have it. What can you tell me of the device? The device? <laughs> <laughs> You're playing a dangerous game. Return to your night hunting, vampire. Enjoy what time remains to you, short though it is. I desire far more than blood. Where is the device? I will not go without an answer. Do you so enjoy being Vordor's lapdog? I am no man's dog, witch. No, I see that now. I sense your conviction. I shall help you. If Norsgoth is ever to be healed, the device must be destroyed. And you, of all men, I believe you will be the one to do it. Know this. The device has lain dormant beneath Meridian for time beyond time. But now, the Seraphan Lord has empowered the machine to unleash its destruction upon the land. The entrance to the device lies in the heart of the city itself under the very noses of the aristocracy. You will know the building by this sign. 
So I'm you going back to Meridian? More than once, but the first one will show you the entrance to the device. No human can operate it. But a vampire could. What must I do? Come here. Drink. Drink my blood. Now! <sighs> what manner of creature are you? You are like no vampire that I have seen. Who I am, what I am, is of no concern to you. We couldn't write Time that. Impresses. He is here. Do as I tell you. If you are to destroy the device and save Nosgoth, you must drink. Ah. She's supposed to be one of the fountain makers? <laughs> yes, drink, my dark prince. Feel my powers so coursing through your veins. You can Why manipulate is this orgasmic? already by sheer will alone. But as you were taught, you can only use this ability at close range. By drinking my blood, you will be granted the gift of telekinesis. You will be able to manipulate objects at a great distance. And you will be able to activate this symbol and enter the device. They the them in fire. Let them learn as they ride in the flames and their bones dissolve. The future yeah, that's my sword, hands. bitch. The vampire and all of his kind shall be raised from the land. This world will be made pure by my hand. This shot you what was the you see, King. Your death beckons you. He has found you. Your destiny draws even closer. I will transport you to the device. From there, use your newfound ability to gain entrance. What of you, Seer? Escape with me. I'm in need of allies. Am I your ally? My fate lies along a different path. Goodbye, Kay. People just keep teleporting him in this game. Oh, I'll I'll answer that in a second. Look, I'm just trying to listen to the cutscene. That's the theme, apparently. Same with the war door. Oh no, I'm just gonna teleport your way. Oh, how convenient! Am I back in the tunnel? Oh, the controller turned off. Yeah. All right, now I can talk. Um. Ooh, gruel. You mean like porridge? You mean like, yeah, the thing we eat for breakfast? Oatmeal? Because we love that. Uh, Blood Omen 2, man. I don't know. <laughs> it's better than I remember it, but it's not nearly as good as all the other games in the series. They all had something going for them. This one, well, it's pretty, and it's... It's fun to play, but the story is so shallow compared to everything else. Like, the first Blood Omen was a masterpiece compared to this. And uh, I expected it to be worse, because I remember it being worse. But it's not as bad. It's still not wonderful. I can't... I'm trying to justify this game, even though... It had so much... You can see the potential, but it's wasted on... Nothing. So many empty areas... Big 3D stuff, I don't know. Mmm, oatmeal. Just regular or with some fruit or something. My favorite is like berry mix. And uh, I don't know what's the name of the fruit of the one I had yesterday. I mean, this morning. Brusnica. At cranberry, maybe? Yeah, cranberry ones. Mmm. That's okay. Telekinesis. It's so forgettable. It's just so fucking forgettable. Banana nut and walnut. Ooh, that sounds so good. Ooh, that's a good mix. Bon appetit, my friend. That sounds really good. Tasty. Better than Blood Omen 2. So he just tried to. He, the, why is Soul Reaver shooting Raziel's um, telekinesis shots? Yeah. Alright! We opened it. 
another thing uh, the also if this is a different timeline if everything goes different then uh, how are we sure raziel is going to end up being the soul reaver how are we sure he's even because like all of this none of this happens in the previous timeline in the in the first few timelines it is said well amy henning kind of salvaged this, the story of this game by shoehorning it in as um yeah but like as a consequence of what happened in soul reaver 2 basically uh how kane and raziel fucked with the timelines using raziel who's like the wild card but I don't get how and how did that how did that make Nosgoth undergo industrial revolution I mean am I trying too much with a game that didn't know what it wanted ooh Crash Bandicoot Crash Bandicoot Cortex Castle <laughs> where the Cortex Castle yeah Strange how one's life casts a shadow far beyond one's own understanding. Here, in this alien vault, I discovered a being whose existence was entwined with mine far more than I could ever imagine. Disturbs me. Not one of my captors. Cain? You know me, monster. My memory at present has its flaws, but I should certainly remember such as you. We have not met. I know of you, of course. That you can return from the dead gives hope to us all. I seek an ancient device of great power. I am prepared to kill any who stand in my way. Have no fear of me. I am enslaved by the fiends that built this monstrosity to feed this machine with my life. Then perhaps we have an interest in common. I'm here to destroy the device. Yes, yes, I can help you then. Ah, ah. That which you seek is too great for you to destroy alone. It descends far underground. It rivals a city in its size. To destroy the device, you must seek out the being that built it. The Seraphan Lord. No, no, it is older. Far older. <sighs> Those who dwelt in Nosgoth eons ago left some structures in their passing. The device is one. The Seraphan Lord discovered how to use it. Only the Builder can make it stop. Do you mean to tell me that this being still lives? It's impossible. Uh, he is. Listen to me. There is a place in Osgoth, far to the north, where time means nothing, where hours and years are frozen for eternity. The eternal prison. The wretches imprisoned there pay for their crimes for eternity. The Builder is there. Ah, ah. The Eternal Time Prison? Police? I have heard of such a place. I didn't realize it was so close to Meridian. How do I reach it? Because there is a you needed it to be. Leading out of the city through this room. It will take you to the prison. And if this Builder refuses my help? Tell him you wish to destroy the device. Believe me, he will aid you. I hope for your sake that what you have told me is true. <laughs> you may believe me. Destroying the device will free me. At last, I will be in your debt, Cain. All right, Eternal Prison, Bad Blood. Hey, Gavin, sorry, I was watching that cutscene. There's... They're giving some important info finally. How are you doing, buddy? Is that looks like Terrell, right? Suspiciously. 
Yeah, but he was summoned through time into Blood Omen One era. Remember, he 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 was the one, right, uh, whom Azimuth pulled through the time. Yeah. yeah. So, well, we'll we'll see him in uh, Defiance, finally. But that could have been Terrell. Oh God, what is this? NES C. It looks like like an NES game. My God, people, why? <laughs> Oh, the clouds are beautiful. The water is just shit. What kind of waves are this? It looks like a plowed field that keeps moving. I know there's, I think, 1940 something on the NES, a airplane game. It had a sea like this. <laughs> and then we have this on the side, which actually looks good, and clouds, which look amazing. You mean the, the, the way they are circling? Yeah, it's a roll pool. Well, no, it's just a simple way to make sky. You make one oh, map. Because most people won't... No, there was already like that before. It was also like that in uh, Soul Reaver 2. It's much cheaper and easier to make than actual moving sky. It's just it circling. Like they're doing the best thing. The, the yep, just... Yeah. Yep. It's okay, I'm doing wonderful. I was so happy you followed me back on Twitter. Appreciate that, buddy. You, I didn't know you had Twitter. Thank you for following me. I mean, you were the one who started it, man. <laughs> uh. hmm. Blood in Blood Omen. Who'd have thought? Ah, oh, I lost my weapon again, bitch. <laughs> this game really hates me. It's like, oh, you had a weapon. Not anymore. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm happy to hear you're doing great, Gavin. <laughs> uh, whoa, I had, I had that glaive. You just fucking stole it from me. And I just walked over here. I don't know, it's just, you, you can feel the plot holes, they're as deep as the fucking abyss where Raziel was thrown. I feel like replaying Soul Reaver after I finish all of this. Just like randomly, not as serious. Actually, I feel like replaying both First Blood Omen and Soul Reaver. First Blood Omen because I would know what I'm doing, but you know, Soul Reaver 1 is my favorite, so... I almost jumped. I keep forgetting this isn't Raziel, and this is the only legit way to jump. Instead of like, you know, normal jump, instead of this. I was about to do that, and I would have died. Chains. So you're gonna tell me nobody knows this shit exists? Like, look at it! <laughs> it's not even... Oh, come on, man! It's like somebody took fanfic of Blood Omen and made it into a game. That's the that's the feeling I get, really. Open. Oh wait, I need to. I need to use the new power because we couldn't think of more shit to add. Telekinesis is very weird in this game. It creaks like a Resident Evil door. But you can't use the right stick to aim. You there! I don't know you! Are you a guest? A visitor? An intruder? We do not permit guests to disturb our routine. We are involved in important work here and nothing, nothing must be allowed to interfere. This is a place where those who have transgressed the laws of the gods and man and so created a dangerous imbalance within themselves contemplate the wrong that they have done through peaceful, uninterrupted meditation until they have regained the balance of their true, perfect inner nature. This process must not be interrupted for any reason until a spiritual transformation has been achieved, however long that may take. Thus, no guests, no visitors are allowed, and intruders 
We know how to deal with. Go now. He's fucking mentally unstable. Like a uh, whole uh, mental transformation for however long it takes. And you just see guy being, oh, that guy's not coming back. <laughs> I think he's been transformed for a lifetime. <laughs> he's done transforming. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It has so many good ideas. See, this was like, wow, look at this place. This guy's gonna say something interesting. And then he just like shat at us. Too bad, really. It, oh yeah, that's what I wanted to say earlier. I read today that uh, the, some fans are remaking this game. This? Yeah, I think they're remaking all all the Legacy of Kane games. But no, no fans, not not. I mean, literally fans. Fans of the game are remaking the game. You know, not not Crystal Dynamics, not. Square Enix. Be so you can't open any door. I can't open the door. <laughs> Where's Jim when you need him? Oh. Nope, wrong power. Just decorative door. Wish. Wee. Yippee. Wee. Look at me, my no hands. I would prefer the classic RE loading ladder than this you know what i mean just like three four steps you're there yeah. rats dirty rats oh wait there was a stair so i can jump on the other side there's something there what about here what the boot here ah that's where the game wants me to go well no game i make my own path I open my own hotel. Whee! Yippee! A weapon. Oh, it's the the super sword <gasps> and blue balls. Scarf those blue balls down. Three, four, five. Yeah, look at that lore growing. The purple bar. There's a checkpoint. And then I save, because I'm not fucking around after all of that. <laughs> after what we witnessed yesterday, no. 5%, huh? Where's Carter? He wanted to see this. Oh god, no, these are demon spiders probably. Oh, this is gonna be fucky. Okay, one of them is dead. Can you drink their blood? Yeah, apparently you can drink all blood here. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. You don't get poisoned either. So maybe these are demon spiders and those are the Hilden or Hilden spiders. I should check the enemy types. But another time. No, oh, that one's waiting there. Spider. There had to be spiders. Of course. Why wouldn't there be fucking spiders? You wanna be scary in a game? You put spiders there. Or any kind of arachnid like creature. But they're pretty weak, at least. 
four swipes. I'm pretty bloody. Oh look, somebody was mentally transformed here. <laughs> hmm, can I control those guys? Oh god, did you see that? Look, pay attention. Please. Um, maybe we won't see her now because it's turned around. That. Look, she's like a zombie when you walk backwards. What is going on here? I forgot this level. I remember the canyon, but I don't remember this. So there's no point in doing this. Maybe? Are you looking at the enemy list? Can I try my spider? Nope. How about telekinesis? What does it do to a spider? Nope, nothing. Another one there. What about this one? God, that's disturbing. Okay, it's finally something worth looking at in this game. As far as the horror element goes. They are, I can't reach them. Oh yeah, is that where I want to go? Is that where I entered? I think that's where I entered. But what else is here? Maybe I need to telekinesis something? Or what? It's a... Oh, there we go. This one's open. I don't know. I don't think they know either. So I'm gonna release all of them, probably now. Oh no. Yep, I am. I forgot to hold the block. I don't need it for these bastards. There we go, bitch slap. Bitch slaps work on spiders, on humans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Ah, oh, from its butt. Ah, oh, straight from the butt. Ew, man. Just fucking disgusting. Why are spiders in in jail? Let me try telekinesis on these. What? Oh, I will as soon as I get that axe. Now. It says on on an object or enemy, but I didn't see it work on an enemy yet. Ooh, a big axe! That's new. Oh, I thought something was boiling over. Did you, did you 
Yep. Nothing. Yep, she's sleeping blissfully. Wait. You there! I see you have not yet found your way out. I suggest you do so. Your presence may disrupt the progress some are making toward fulfilling the inner balance of their perfect nature, and that cannot be allowed. Heed my warning and depart at once! The fuck? No. There's a checkpoint up there. How does the how does a clock teleport me? Yeah, but am I like is it like am I at the end of time now? What is going on? What's the it's nine yeah though no, yeah it is but look eight is i i x instead of v and three i's what the hell they they made up their own roman numbers well it's not because four five six seven look all of them go in order four five six seven Nine, eight, nine. Okay, nine fifteen. That's what I'm interested. In. So I supposed to be punished in an open cell? Oh, he kicked me out. There's nothing I can pick up. He threatened me, but still, I got kicked out. So I would be able to go in here. Let me try this on one of them. Yes. Telekinesis is strong. Huh. Just two hits. They didn't take four to die, so took half of his health. Cool, I'm gonna keep using it. Uh, come on, recharge. Two times. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I was trying to see how, how fast will it... Uh, Cool down. I'm gonna fall if I go over here. I'm just gonna go around. Hey, wait, there's someone. In... Can I try to mind control them? What'd you call say? They're called eyeless wretches? just over and over again I'm going back into the prison
Oui, yippa. It's probably gonna be two more spiders inside. Yeah, let's draw them out. If I do this right, I should be able to hit him twice. Takes a while, but it works. That's beautiful. I'm loving it. Everything's a little stiff compared to how you use telekinesis in other games, but it works. And that's all I need. There's no one in this well. So he threw me into one broken cell so I can escape. What a terrible jailer. This is gonna fall off. Oh. Okay. You! Have I not told you that you do not belong in this place? Have I not told you to go? But you have not heeded my warnings. Now I must explain my meaning in a manner you are sure to understand. No! Because there's a, an edge there. He's got killed the eyes. I thought he was gonna be like all powerful or something. That's it. You would expect more from him, huh? See, I thought he was gonna be the big bad boss or something. Full of blood, though. Weapon? Can't take his sight? Ah, I want your sight, man. It's so beautiful and so bad at the same time. It's hard to put the words. He, like, how how does this guy warden a prison or whatever he does get killed by one guy? Just destroyed. I'm special. Ah, we're back where we were. Red balls. Another axe. There was a door here, right? That he hid. You know, I like clocks and time travel things, but this is just weird. Kind of like American McGee's Alice. Twenty-five. What this? It's like a planetarium or something. Oh, it is a planetarium. Nosgotarium. She likes contact. Maybe I should have taken the other axe. Oh, it's gonna show the door, okay. Interesting concept, but I have no idea what's going on with the clock and everything. <laughs> Was that Tony J? Yeah. 
<laughs> hey Carter, I was just mentioning you. Welcome to the stream, man. I was just mentioning you. I was like, where the hell is Carter? He was talking about the prison. So I remember the canyon clearly, the previous level, but this I have no memory of, which is weird. I love clocks and time and all that. It's just I have no memory of any of this. Um, I killed the guy, the warden. At least I think I killed him, unless he pretended. <laughs> yes, you are, man. Your main Legacy of Kane uh, VIP viewer. Uh, other fancy words I can't think of right now. All that. Okay. So they're they're being cured here. I'm I'm told. I don't know how exactly that works because if I do this, it looks fucking horrible. Sasha Sasha found that they're called eyeless wretches or something. What the fuck is that? <laughs> hey, you earned it. I don't get it. How, okay, this has oh this has something to do with the time, but previous things I did there with the clock just hides and shows the door. How does that relate to time? Is it like before it was walled on, walled in? Oh, <laughs> walled in. Yeah. Ah, I gotta say it's the most interesting level so far, probably. <laughs> Industrial complex was also interesting, but at least we're not gonna fight the wannabe Marcus. What's his face? I forgot his name. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is uh, beginning to look and feel more and more like Mortal Kombat Deception. Is it, is it boss fight time? Let's save and check the percentage. Makes sense. It's just funny how they shed it out of nowhere. Like, oh yeah, there's a prison uh, where people go. Well, those like who are whose balance is tipped over or whatever go, and uh, it's right next to Merid Meridian. It's like right there because we couldn't build any more of this game. <laughs> Twenty-five percent. No, shouldn't be a boss fight. Love. It's very interesting. Are you coming, Sash? Oh, she's right. Hold on, I gotta shout. I gotta shout more. I gotta shout. I gotta shout louder, even. Uh -huh. I didn't want her to miss this. Though she missed the door that looks so reaverish. Actually, Blood Omenish. Cool. So I'm getting the feeling, like I said, Mortal Kombat Deception, uh, Conquest. Uh, there's a. Uh, there are. You go through realms in that game if you haven't played it, Carter. Like, I think nine different realms, including the Earth realm. It's like the entire Mortal Kombat mythos. Ooh, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, really? It reminds of the hub. So this looks like the order of... Like the realm... Realms of order and realm of chaos. They have things like this. These kind of landscapes. Oh no. Thank you. So, I, I used the... Uh, telekinesis to activate a clocky thing okay. like one of those remote things which uh, like rewound time and stairs they were falling they were they unfell so I could climb and then I went through a door and emerged here a door more like doorway 
I want to check around before going into the center. Carter says it's his personal highlight, high point of the game, which makes sense. It's more interesting than anything we've seen so far. I don't. Maybe I mixed it up a bit with the Deception Conquest. I'm not sure. Can I jump onto this? No. Why? What's stopping me? I guess you you're not supposed to climb on that. I'm afraid to try. Fear of falling down into the infinite hole. What about here? Oh, okay. Can't tell where you're supposed to go and where not. But the jump doesn't work. Huh, radio. What's going on with the radio? Am I back? Yeah. I am back. Okay, let's check the middle now. What is this? Uh, did we have a sword like this? Up in... Looks like a bigger sword. I think axe is better, but I'm not sure what to think. Huh. You know what? I'm not sure if I had it, so I'll grab it. I'm pretty sure we'll find more axes. Damn it! Okay, it's back. Do 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 do. Never played Mortal Kombat. Only watched the first two movies. Watched the series. Oh, serious! And played the Kick-Ass song in my head over and over again for a few decades. <laughs> it's just bad. It's just horrible. Like I think it's even worse than the second movie. <laughs> There's the planetarium thingy we've seen. It looks like it's gonna assemble the sigil of Nosgoth. You know the one that's at the pillars? Concentric circles and all that? Oh, we just rearranged them to make platforming. So, Deception is the sixth Mortal Kombat. You have the classic arcade mode where you just beat the shit out of everyone and climb the ladder. But Conquest is basically the story mode. Where you play, in this one, you play as this guy, Shujinko. It starts way before the first Mortal Kombat. He starts as a young man, kid even. And uh, as you play, he gets older. So you play throughout his life. And you see the events of all the Mortal Kombats. Like all the games in the series. And there are... Because you go through all these different realms. There are ways. They're not aggressive, by the way. But they're blind. I might need to kill kill them for blood because I'm losing some. But um, uh, at a few points in the game, Shujinko he, he gets lied and cheated and used worse than Kane and Raziel together. Whoa, whoa. Oh, what the fuck is this? New enemies and. At one point, some guy sends him to a pool to get something for him. Okay, then fuck you. Berserk or Berserk? So Berserk is just... Uh, Fury is just one bitch slap and uses less. Uh, bar, I think, while Fury is, well, Berserk is like a full combo. So he gets sent into a pool in one of the dimensions he, he visits, gets set in, into a certain pool to pick up a certain item, and it, like in the moment he walks into that pool to pick up the item and comes back, it's been like 30 years or something. So he enters as a young man, exits as a middle-aged one there's gonna be more of them probably no and then the second time in the realm of chaos it's easy because everything is chaotic and 
everyone's a dick. But in realm of order, you make one tiny mistake. Everyone's good and everything's order, but you make one tiny mistake. And they condemn him into for into uh, they condemn him to imprisonment for another 30 years for like sighing too fast or something like that. So by the end of the game he's like a very old man. Very little blood from these guys. Yeah, there shouldn't be any, that's a good point. Blood keeps on dripping, dripping into the future. Okay, I remember this part now for some reason. So yeah, it is the part I mixed up with Mortal Kombat. It, even the, the, the background sounds are similar. Wait, why can't I do it? Do I have to do it from the edge again? Yep. Straight into the checkpoint. Oh, damn it. Sorry, ma'am, but I need to make sure I live. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oops. Why do I think he's gonna do three three hits? Yeah, that's why Fury, it, it uh, recharges faster. It is, that's... It's quite interesting what they did there. Yeah, if you say that, that means it's loud, right? I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't want to do this. Well, she's, she was suffering anyway, let's look at it that way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bon appetit, man. Whee! Yippee! Oh, is that a... No, that's a blue ball chest. I like the weapon enhancement ones. Yeah. Because they repair good weapons and they, they make him a lot stronger. You want more? Ooh. Let's bitch slap him into oblivion. He brings back the the rage he spent.
As long as I don't fall off, I should be good, huh? Two of them. Oh, lovely. No, not you. Okay, they're both dead. They're not that hard to battle, they're just... They're literally time-wasting enemies. Ooh, we got that Darth Maul sword. There's another weird door. Stop it! Don't open that door! Look, look, it's gonna do that again. Isn't that Soul Reaver like? Like the Spirit Realm. Just like. To jerk with me. Should be at 35 now. <laughs> are they are they hostile now? Oh no, wait, these guys are not docile. And I'm just lo watching that, not doing anything. That looks like a weapon chest over there. Nice one, spider. Oh, I still got it. No time to fuck around with you. Is he dead? Should be dead, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Kalakua. Welcome to the stream. Oh, Jesus Christ, every fucking time, but like maybe two times I've managed to remember he's gonna do that. So dramatic for a fucking level up. You think they're pulling his wee wee off. Yeah, <laughs> I do have a wee wee weapon here. Wow! I just red balls. Just red balls. So what? You mean this thing? I don't know, man. I don't make the rules. I just play the game. <laughs> Can't even level up normally. He just levels up. <laughs> you okay, Kate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just I'm growing, man. I'm getting stronger. <laughs> Is that like the equivalent of having muscle aches? <laughs> Imagine like going on a trip with him somewhere, we're doing something, he 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 learns something new, just randomly starts. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do every time I learn something new. You what you don't? <laughs> I probably need to open this just Gotta love that, like, three bars. They're the only ones you can actually hear talk. What's stopping you, man?
and now control her to bring it up. Yeah, I almost charmed myself. But she's there, isn't she? You think? Because that's the one I used to. Let's see. Maybe jump down and do it. You can jump down. Let me see. So I probably have to bring her around first. Hold on, kitty. Oh, gotta reshuffle the legs. Old leggies. I'm gonna bring her around first. Eggs are boiled eggs or boiled eggs. I also love like soft boiled eggs more generally. But I can go with hard boiled too. Nothing wrong with them. Quickly now. Before no 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 before she moves, go on Kane. Zoom. Okay. So have I gone two floors up now? Mmm, boiled eggs. We could do that, love. I'm checking this floor. Don't mind me. Oh, they're dead. The floor killed them. Oh yeah, yeah, I agree. Not that I ate, that I had actual ramen too many times. <laughs> Mr. Ramen. <laughs> Ranid. Ranid. But, um. Yeah, I only had real ramen twice in England. I think I told you this story. When my best buddy took me to Wagamama. But, um. Uh, it really means a lot that they have. They're made with soft boiled eggs I think that makes them mmm scrumptious so what am I missing here let's say I, was, I want the eggs because I do it has better durability I need to move the other cage I suppose oh maybe there's someone inside of one of these I can uh, I didn't tell you Sorry then. Um, well, I was in England twice in tw 2019. My only only time that I left uh, <laughs> Serbia, uh, my client invited me to uh, well, first time to meet up because we were just starting to work together and do some work together, and then the second time, well, to do more work, and then Sasha came with me. But both times my uh, best friend Mark, who's actually from England, from Wales, but uh, he lives in England, uh, in Stockton. Uh, first time we met up in Manchester, and he took me to Wagamama's there, among other things, um, among other places, Wagamama's was the best one. Best food I had in England, not counting English pies, because like burgers are just shit everywhere in the West, apparently. <laughs> Everything's like McDonald's, it's not like normal burgers we have here which are way tastier but uh, Wagamama's was awesome and I had ramen both times among other things like there was always a mix of things and ramen and damn it's good Wagamama's is a Japanese restaurant chain in uh, in England like I think they're they're from England and it means selfish in Japanese at least that's what Mark told me Oh, I have to open all the cages, Morty. <laughs> How many of them? Like four or five? Fuck it, I'm strong enough. Let's not waste time. Or, did I just kill myself? No, please. Oh, Jesus, it's good. I could have killed myself. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's actually a good idea, because TK is pretty strong. TK. Donkey Kong. <laughs> I can't. That's that's the default whenever you say TK. I'm just standing and staring there again. Kane, you suck, man. You used to be cool. What happened to you? Yeah, that's not gonna work because the game is broken. Maybe from here I can do it? Can they even see me? Vampirism happened. I get it, but it's not like he's showing no emotion for what's happening. Not even like... <laughs> not even, you know, like, mmm, tasty meal or something. He's very lifeless in this game. Did I hit it? Okay. Yeah, it's gonna ring. Thanks, love. I think that one's dead. Oh no, one by one, okay. The game's barely running with itself. One dot dead. One dot dead. There's three, three of them total, but I don't think they can even see me. Oh, come on, game, don't die on me. TK. I think the draw distance is killing it. How do you know when the cooldown's done? There's no indication, just press the button and hope for the best. Alright, there we go, they're dead. Let me drink all of that now. Alright, it's time. Alright, alright, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> okay folks, let's, let's take a break here, I'm gonna save. We gotta take a break for the IP switch and also I wanna stretch and uh, drink something and eat something so we'll be back uh, stream will cut out uh, those of you who are watching know this uh, stream will come out, cut out and it will be back uh, we'll be back in 10 minutes with more <laughs> blood omen 2 legacy of Kane. <laughs> don't go anywhere guys be right back welcome back everyone to episode 5 was it of blood omen 2 legacy of Kane. we're in a very interesting level Hey sis, what do you mean your internet's gone? I asked earlier, but you were gone already. What does that mean? Let me see. She's still here. Ah, she's gone. <laughs> she's off already. Damn it. I almost asked her. Okay. I'll ask her. I'll call her later to see what's going on. Is like the subscriptions off? And Is that cat on drugs again? Yeah. She's crushing the floor. Jesus. Yeah. Matzo! Mats, mats, mats! Working and internet is done. Oh, you mean you spent your data? You reach your data limit? Is that what you're trying to say? Ah! I'm sorry to hear that. No! Don't go! Look, there's an arm! I'm gonna suck blood from an arm, Sash. Oh, wait, it's a whole body. Emerging. It's cold without you. Mm. There's a way to save internet if you just want to listen. Just advice for future. If you just want to listen in, you can actually turn off the video and just leave the audio and chat. That's like 10 times less internet consum consumption. Just so you know, sis. Oh, there's a hole above this? No. Kind of. Oh, it's the whole thing. Whee! What? Her hair? Yeah, it's just like jumps. It just brrr, it brings a whole fucking barrage of hair with her. So let's check those cells out. I forgot what was going on. Thanks for stopping by, Lupka. And happy working. 
Happy working, comrade sister. Work for the great nation of Serbia. Ha. What, great nation of Serbia? It's not forbidden, that's what everybody wants in this country, just like, for Serbia to rise up again. We you know Yeah they go right there. Oh okay. <laughs> I guess if you don't wanna climb. Do I dare enter? They're just a shit sword, so I'm gonna leave it for now. It's a very interesting sword with reach and all that, but a durability is... I don't want to be locked in. Yeah. I don't know, I expected him to be the way one of them ran towards me before I could even interact with them. I was sure they were gonna fuck me up in some horrible way. Instead we have little spiders. Oh, a new axe! You know what? I'm gonna pick that up. That one's pristine, undamaged and all that. Love? Since Carter just put boiled eggs in my head, I'm thinking for breakfast, for dinner maybe boiled eggs, and for breakfast we can do old oatmeal. What do you think? Because we're low on bread and we're not going until 10 tomorrow. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> no, him. He just said, Mwah. Ramen? Really? You mean the... Oh, we have Indomie! Yes! We can actually have Indomie spaghetti for... Oh, yeah, yeah. I just opened up with her. <laughs> Gotta love how he's... Mustard eggs. Is it just... Is it mustard and eggs or is there more to it? Red balls. Mmm, mustard and eggs together sounds delicious, but when I'm hungry I could eat anything. A salty rag? A non-salted rag? Why not? It's, it's gotta have some protein. Oh, she's making me want to sneeze from the excuse me. Look, if I get locked, at least I have someone on the outside to break me out. The level? Hey, nothing is as huge as canyon. The fucking canyon was endless. There's nothing here. Let's go to the other side. Nothing here. Ding ding ding. Oh, there's a lever right next to her. Oh, I can see he replied. Hold on. Not much, but yeah. Hard-boiled eggs, potatoes as a side dish, and mustard sauce based on bechamel. Mustard sauce? What is mustard sauce? Oh, it looks pretty good. Mmm. Yum. We're all up for uh, trying new foods. <laughs> We're here to conquer all the nations of the world and try their foods and then we're gonna leave as soon as we try all your foods <laughs> imagine that war plan <laughs> oh no <laughs> it's a crazy serbs they're invading what the fuck we do quickly quickly sir sir of them are best dish i don't know we just <laughs> went somewhere we just started with neighbors in, in southern europe why not bigger sword <laughs> Oh, 
Sauce that tastes like mustard because it is made with mustard. <gasps> Fuck yeah! Look at this. It's Z chest. Zero. Which? And then you save and quit, and the game deletes your upgrades. Rawr. That sounds very good, man. I love mustard and mustardy products. I love spicy food. Sasha's not a spicy food eater. She prefers her food non-spiced, but mm, man, it just like I think if you ate spicy hot food in childhood, our mom was very. I'm gonna say tough with that. She was like, yeah, "You gotta eat it, so you could eat it, and it's good for you, and just fucking eat it." So uh, my sisters and I had spicy food since we could eat, probably, and it's not like. I can't even explain how spicy, uh, how hot that food can be when my mother, Radmila, prepares it. It's like so hot, while you're eating it, your ass is already crying. If that makes sense. And I'm sure it does. But the good thing is I got Senf. Yep, Senf. <laughs> The good thing is, uh, I got used to it and I like it. <laughs> Maybe it's Stockholm Syndrome, who knows? But oh, really, I enjoy spicy food a lot. S -s -s Senf, I mean mustard, is not really spicy, but it's spicy-like. And that's really good with wieners, sausages, eggs even. Senf, Does it go so well with wieners and sausages? I don't know, everywhere where the mustard plant thingy grows. What it's called? Slachica? Okay, somebody has to explain why is the nut house full of women. There's not a single guy here. <laughs> no, seriously, what the fuck? Oh, I guess all the men are being... Mentally remodeled. What did you say? Mentally reshuffled? No. Adapted? Brought into balance? Sounds like a gra crazy grandma in front of Maxi. Anything here to push, lady? I don't see it, but... Well, they're, they're like nurses? Oh, really? I thought you were messing with me. I like how you, when you walk backwards, they turn into zombies. Oh. I don't know why I find that fun. Before I do that... All declared witches as a form of Nosgothian oppression, just like the real world. Whoa, you're wearing trousers because they're easier to walk in. Witch! <laughs> I mean, yep. <laughs> That's how it was. Everything has a cooldown. Even the jump. There's no reason for jump to have a cooldown. More balls! This time we're gulping some blue balls. Yum, 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 yum. I feel like I'm leveling faster the more leveled up I am. Probably because it gives me more lore all around. Anything on this side before I inevitably walk away? No. Oh my god, the reach of this is so selective. Aww. I'll allow it. That, gotta get used to... Oh, he'll see it in the stream, don't worry. In the, in the, in the screen. Why? <laughs> Why, Kane? What is stopping you? What the fuck? He just decides not to do it, it's so janky. 
It's like super janky. Oh, is it gonna close? Of course. Why wouldn't it close? There's the guy. Nice, I have a cool axe. Oh, two of them? Hey, that's not fair. They have Hilden eyes. I have two more. <laughs> One of them is dead. Oh, they're dead, both of them. Cool. At least they'll give me lots of blood. <laughs> I think she hears the recognizable sound of a vampire drinking blood. Damn. Man, they're brimming with blood. Oh, you can't go back. Okay. I hear you. I hear ya! Another checkpoint. And another axe, I think? Oh no, it's the Dark Mole Sword. The Dark Mole Sword! I'm thinking I have a, a powered up axe though, that seems more valuable, but it's about to break, so I don't know. Let's go a bit forward, let's save and see the percentage. It was 45, so it's 55 now, probably. Yeah, 50, even worse. Yeah, it's a one long level. As long as we finish it now. Ah. How many of these guys are there? I thought this is just one guy. Did I warp in front of him? Yep. How the fuck did that miss? The hill didn't have eyes. Finish him. Oh, gotta love those slowdowns. Is he dead? They're such pushovers. The way. The way they, uh. They seemed. Well, the first guy, how he threatened me, seemed like he's gonna be. A hard ass? It was not. What do you mean, zombie? I mean, I thought it's... Honestly, I thought it's just one guy that's leading everything. He's got a giant clock, rewinding time, doing all that shit. I was like, wow, cool, that's really cool. And then I killed him, like, after his third encounter. I'm pissed with you, guy. I'm gonna show you now. Oh, oh, he killed me. I guess I didn't count on this. <laughs> uh, from his perspective, of course. What do you mean by the spells, zombie? Did the spells use up? Uh, the ber the berserk I used? Yeah. Uh, actually, the fury. F the difference between fury and berserk is... Well, the power. Fury is just like one bitch slap and... Berserk is... Washa, washa. Berserk <laughs> and Berserk uses more rage bar Which is the third bar there at the top I think at this level my my hands are sufficient weapons here. It did again. Did you see that? Rewound time But I also closed the door behind me Oh mist no, there's no fog here to there's no mist here to do the mist but yeah, nice, nice memory there, man. Yeah. 
No worries, ask, ask whatever you want to ask. This is a weird game in the series, it really is. It's different from everything else in gameplay and story. And the lady who worked on, well, all the games. I think she also worked on Blood Omen 1, because I know it was developed by S uh, Silicon Knights, but Crystal Dynamics surely helped. So, oh, we're going to have to rewind time again, uh huh. Oh, sorry, I missed that. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Cardo. <laughs> but yeah, Amy Henning, she did work on ooh, almost fell on everything like Soul River One, Two, and Defiance. She's pretty sure she helped. She did something on the first Blood Omen, at least observed. Yeah, because uh, Crystal Dynamics. I'm not sure if she did. That's what I'm saying. Crystal Dynamics was called in by uh, Silicon Knights to help with Blood Omen One, and then did the whole look now. Let's see. Yeah, okay. And now it's not gonna break the bridge. You can fuck with time here. So let me stop so I can say all that. So Crystal Dynam... Uh, uh, Silicon Knights developed first Blood Omen, yeah. But... Uh, she was there, yeah. You're right, she was there. It was... Uh, probably probably a typo <laughs> happened in those old games. Uh, we've seen a bunch of those, really. Uh, but nice catch. I wouldn't have caught it. And uh, just in Blood Omen 1, right? Not in, not in the other ones. Um, so she was definitely there because it was a Silicon Knights game, but uh, Crystal Dynamics lent quite a hand then she worked on she was heavily involved the director of soul river one two and defiance but i know she was in uh called in to salvage blood omen 2 because they were stuck with it and she's the one who shed out the whole uh <clears throat> this is an alternate timeline caused by raziel and kane's messing in soul river 2 which is a really good save i'm not gonna lie just doesn't explain how that happened. Really? So it's... What am I saying? A Amy Henning? Henning. Amy Henning. Huh. Henning. Ah. Oh, nice catch there. Nice catch there, catch master. Wait, what will happen if I do this now when the bridge is already... Ah, you can't. Because time passed. Okay, let's move on. Another checkpoint. Now we're in some kind of up. Oh. Look, help there's me. a guy. Let me out of here! I didn't do nothing. You can't let him get me. Help me! Help me! Blanched. It must be poached. It must be fried. Where is my meat? Is that a vampire? She was really hungry, I guess. No, no, I've had my allotment. Fourteen hundred ounces or twenty stone. You may go. Uh, I think that's the voice of Bartley. The Bartley, the is it his name Bartley from Baldur's Gate: Dark Alliance. Sounds like him. Yeah, <laughs> this guy. <sighs> okay, then I remember that in Defiance. It's still it's a weird side effect of fucking up, fucking with time. I guess it's they wanted to show the butterfly effect. No idea. But Defiance will round up everything. And I was just saying before you came in. 
when I was commenting how they were like, we're restoring peace here, and then you see like some guy being squashed. Yeah, we're, no, he said curing them, like returning their. I forgot which words exactly the, the guard used, like something like restoring their mental balance. Transform. Yeah, you shouldn't interfere with mental transformation. It's just like you see a guy being squashed by a cage or something. Yeah, sure. Fuck. Uh, hey, that guy's transformed for life. But the other thing I wanted to say, I feel like replaying Blood Omen 1 and Soul Reaver 1 outside of like, so this is like going through the whole series, but at some point I just, I'll just replay those two because I really like, I think those are really, really good. And Soul Reaver 2, of course, my love, of course, for the story, not for the fucking pike man. <laughs> 1400 ounces each day. 40 kilograms of prisoners every not even one proper prisoner Well, if they're malnourished. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, let's let's show him what we got. Is he gonna explode on me? No, there's only five bosses in the game. I kind of feel like he's gonna blow up in my face. What about this, though? Oh, he's not unaffected by that. Okay, he's gotten a little angry. At least he's easy to combo. I just, out of like curiosity, started whacking him, but... Wait, doesn't his flesh heal right away because he's a vampire? Well, I'm a vampire, my flesh doesn't heal like, right away. Yeah. Health bar? Is he a boss? So I probably need to make him suicide or something. Like this thing of his is gonna blow up. Oh. Maybe make him jump into water or something? No, this is closed. Woo. Close him in somewhere. Oh wait, the glass restored itself? Maybe I need to punch his thing behind. Oh, or maybe break the glass with his thing. Finish him. Nope. I wish I had a second of peace so I could check the things around. Can't go there. Oh, I can go there. Cool. There's blood to drink. We may need to draw him into something. Lock him into something. Run. Yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna lose all those weapons and lore over there.
he he died there like a Crash Bandicoot villain, like Neocortex in Crash 3. Okay, I wanna go back, please. Stop screaming, I'm trying to think here, man. Oh, really? Telekinesis, yep. It ain't working. Well, I'm gonna try it anyway. Geronimo! Oh, where's the one I came from? Yeah, all right. Well, that was a waste of time and a good weapon. Damn, these guys are full. What do they eat? Baby elephants for breakfast? Do they eat 40 ounces of meat? 1400 ounces of meat? There's nothing else left to pick up. I was thinking maybe I need to make him like crash into that and set himself on fire, something like that. Was he locked in here? No weapons though. Where did that fall off? There's pipes lying around. Kane, this is what? Well, he just jumped. What this guy? Maybe he, he'll be back. Maybe he's got like water resistance too. Are those people? It's like Quake 4, you know, the torso powering. Yep. Remember the torso power plants where they have like just torsos like this and they're alive but headless? You can hear the insides going Quake 4 is very depressing <laughs> Damn it Jim, I'm a vampire, not a helper mm, I don't know Dead Space, I forgot yeah, I remember they were limbless. And it had actually enemies whose limbs you cut off. But I don't remember much. I know it gave me lots of heart attacks. And it felt like a better version of RE4. It was actually scary. Scary enough that I was like, oh. So what now? Oh, there we go. Is that the chest I opened? <laughs> uh, uh. Damn, I really thought these guys were gonna be scarier. I still hit him. Demons were way worse than these guys to fight, I mean. He's dead, okay. So, in Quake 4, there's this, it's like 
war against these this race of cybernetic aliens and there's a good backstory for them like they were they're a remnant of a war that happened thousands of years ago between some races god knows like nobody knows the races that made them disappear oh is that what i think it is hell yeah powerful axe and uh, only the strong themselves are left uh, the aliens so they came to earth to earth to harvest for parts right and uh, in Quake 4 you see this they have these power plants that are made of like human torsos they're cut off just hands and feet just like tiny pieces of arms and legs left <laughs> and uh, they're missing their heads there he is so I have to lure him back and it's really disturbing the, the sounds they make because even though they don't have he heads, they, they still, they're, they're, they're somehow conscious and feel the pain, or at least like they feel the pain. And they make these horrible sounds, like gurgling from inside, I can't describe it. That is not dead, what can eternal lie? Hey, what's that? feel like I'm gonna be ambushed okay so I know where I heard it yeah, uh, I think they used it in or maybe I just saw it in, in, the, in the book ah I expected more from you is there one more approaching Yep. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I know I remember it. I remember I saw it. I want to say Eternal Darkness, but it could just be like. A uh, collection of Lovecraft stories I read a long time ago. Oh, why are you dead? Ooh, that's like... Oh, they did they run into the fire? Wait, will I have to fight Magnus Opus here? Yeah. Yeah, I will. It was. I really lo loved that game. It's one of my favorite horror games. So, what? Just leave this burning, I guess. Ah! That wasn't a deal. Furnace, you don't work against me, you work with me. Everything's on fire now. Oh, it just dies out after a while, okay. Why did I think it's gonna burn forever? Okay, so we have that. Special moves? Well, I have Berserk and Fury. It's pretty simplistic after what you've seen in, in previous games, Zombie. That's why I keep saying the game had so much potential, this one. But it's just unfinished, kind of, in a way. Again, it's still very fun to play. I'm not going to deny that. Will I have to fight him through all of these chambers? Do I dare press it? I think I'm gonna kill somebody. Yep. Yep, that's the mental transformation chamber. So you transform them into grind meat. Ground meat. <clears throat> Mr. Tall, Dark and Ugly is gonna be ground zombie meat. And hooks just like... Lying about. 
Yeah, that's the that's it. That's the chamber we've seen at the start. I thought this guy was transformed already. I think they brought a new one. To take his place <clears throat> of the old guy. Where 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 did it come from? Damn it, everything's the same. I'm gonna say I was going this way. Yeah. Okay, and it's the other way. I was wrong, it's actually pretty easy to play with this controller. I should be happy I have it. So. Oh, I see constantly on fire. So what did I open? Do we need to go up? Ah, I opened one of the other ones there. <laughs> yeah, Delmar. Hello, hello. Good to see you, buddy. I am just living on blood. I think we opened the next one here. I can't wait to get to the next game. That one's gonna be so much better. So much story in there, right? So. What do you mean you hope so? It is better. So, I had no idea that would be part of the game. Well, yeah, we mature and all that. With Defiance? I doubt it. Defiance is cool. It wasn't as good, though. Uh, after this, it's gonna be a breath of fresh air, really. I mean, it uh, the ca the battle the camera system is just wants to be Devil May Cry so bad. I really b b like the Zelda gameplay a lot better in Soul Reaver games, but uh, I guess Devil May Cry it is. That's weird. Why is that there? No, I wanted to turn it. No, maybe I need to take the bridge down while he's chasing me. Telekinesis. What if I let him come close? He would just kill me, huh? <laughs> what is up with that face? Why is he not dying? Just He would just one hit him. Another Soul Reaver door. Is this a power of the <laughs> Yep, there's gonna be more. Look, there's a portal behind it? Oh no, it's closed. Never mind. Dude, once you play Defiance, you're cursing it? Why am I cursing it? I remember I had fun with Defiance, just one part that killed me. It was something like, yeah, it was something like, it is not that, dead. It is not that, dead, that which can eternal lie. Yep, I remember that. Definitely. Oh, yeah. I know what you mean, but, you know, still, it's not Blood Omen 2. <laughs> it works for me. My least favorite part of Defiance is exactly the Devil May Cry gameplay. Which is, they didn't do as well. But again, if I, th if I think this is 
better than I remember. Maybe that will be better than I remember too. No, I don't know what he said. If he wanted to say something, he didn't finish it. <laughs> I came to visit my friend Mobius. I have to ask him a few questions, if you know what I mean, audience. Ha 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 ha. Exactly that level, yeah. I know. <laughs> oh, that's not suspicious at all. Close the door behind me, will ya? Did I say recently? 70%. So it's now 75, 80? 80. These levels are fucking huge. Oh, more clocks. Is that the draw distance or... Or did the, the map just appear in front of me? Yup, it just appeared in front of me. Switch? No, not yet. Jump? Whee! Yippee! Oh, there's the planetarium thingy. There's a switch I need to push. Do I want to jump somewhere first? I'm gonna jump somewhere first before I push the switch. I just got a checkpoint and I can always reload. Oh, I don't think I can jump. Yeah, that's the thing. It's right outside the reach, because this one is protruding. That's the only place I can jump. Okay, game, I'll dance to your tune. Look, time again. I love time. So, again, something that broke the bridge, I guess. Oh, cool. But where do I want to go first? Ah, I can always jump back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Close your eyes, give me your hand, darling, do you feel my heart beat and do you understand, do you feel the same, am I only dreaming, is this burning an eternal flame, I believe it's meant to be, darling, I watch you when you are sleeping, you belong with, <coughs> you belong with me, do you feel the same, am I only dreaming, or is this burning an eternal flame, I don't know the melody of the song, I'm just making that up. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, ash hole. <clears throat> I think it's time for a bitch slap. <clears throat> that worked. ripped his guts right out. You cost me my axe. Ash hole. Okay. Oh, another one. Of the recent end boss? Oh, you beat... What did I do? What did what just happened? I didn't see. I did not see what I did. Damn. Guys, what just happened? Can someone tell me? I was looking at the chat. What end boss? Did you beat Star Ocean? Speaking of which, 
There's a new Star Ocean. I saw it on Xbox the other day. I was like, wow. Uh, the minder bitten Hoffman effect. I forgot what it's called. Haha, <laughs> damn it. I don't know what that did, so we'll just move along. You know the effect I mean when you hear about something and then it keeps popping up? Well, that. Big and Barfen Wolfen effect. I don't know. Biedermeier? Bingenhofen. I would really love to play that game. Need to buy me a Super Famicom for that and a few other games. So yeah, I need to move it once more and then a full circle because why the fuck would it be easy? It's not a puzzle, it's just panning out playtime. Soul Reaver 1 cube puzzles were way more interesting. At least I had to think to solve it here. I'm just pushing the switch like the crane yesterday. Push the switch. See what happens. Learn the pattern. Push the switch in the pattern. You won. We're gonna have another ash hole. Ash hole? Where are you, ash hole? I know you're somewhere around here, ash hole. There's just a switch. It seems too baity. So which end boss are you talking about? In honor of the recent end boss. Eternal flame. Uh, uh, um. Is that an item or a person? Are you streaming around it? Or, or, or do you stream? Is the question I'm trying to ask. Ash Hall. Prisoner, I require information. Well, oh, that's a Hilden scientist. Yep. You are not a jailer. I beg you, release me. First, you must answer me. I seek a prisoner in this place, a builder. He created a large device that lies below the city of Meridian. <laughs> seek no further. I am he. How fortunate. I intend to destroy this device. I was told only you can tell me how. I can indeed help you. But in return, I need an end to my suffering. Tell me of the device and I will grant you any request within my power. Yes. Yes, the device. The device was built as a weapon eons ago when two races warred with each other for dominance of Nosgoth. It houses an ancient creature whose very mind is capable of killing any living thing with but a thought. The device was to channel the mental energy of this creature and direct it onto Nosgoth. It would attune the creature's mind to kill all living creatures except for my race. Before it could be completed, however, I was imprisoned here, and the rest of my race was banished to another far more terrible realm. So this device was never finished, and yet the creature still lives within it. It was dubbed the Mass. It is eternal and deadly, yet harmless without a channel for its mind. But we never completed the weapon needed a way to send its energy out of the device and into the land itself. We needed a conduit throughout the cities, a network if you will. But once this network was created, the device would channel the mental energy of the mass and send death upon our enemies. You say a network, placed like a web throughout a city. We never completed the network. We never use the device. But the Seraphan Lord will. The glyphs. He is using the glyphs to channel the mass, to wipe out the city, humans and vampires alike. That must be his plan. Huh? If this is indeed true, you must act quickly. It would be too large a task to destroy the device itself. You must kill the mass itself. You said this creature was eternal. It has a simple weakness. Blood is like poison to its system. And not any blood, but pure blood from the Elder Races. My blood, 
My blood will poison and kill the creature. Drink from me, vampire, and use my life's blood to kill that which I created out of arrogance and pride. Kill me so that the master yeah, I remember he regretted. and the device will be destroyed. You have suffered here an eternity, poor wretch. I will grant you release from your prison, and I will carry your blood in my veins. I will bring the Saraphan Lord's plans tumbling before him. People just keep offering him blood. Wait, does that mean that uh, the seer was also held in? The lady that made him drink her, her blood as well. She was different? Not yet, but I plan to start a podcast here on Twitch about German pulp novels because they are ridiculously huge franchises that ever were translated into other languages. Yeah, I remember you told me that when we met. Uh, she's half Hilden. Okay. Perry Roden alone. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> I keep mulling that over in my head from time to time. Because I'm still like, Jesus Christ, that's a lot. Did that open? No. The guy spent his life writing. <clears throat> Ding dong. I broke the clock. Somewhere right between Mortal Kombat Deception, Conquest and, uh, and American McGee's Alice. But this tells me American McGee's Alice could have been ported to consoles even back then. This looks pretty fucking good for a 480 i game. And they didn't port it to a console until Xbox 360? Until Alice 2 came out? It's practically... it looks like the same engine. Yeah. I love those games. The first one is kind of its own, but the second one is a def definite Zelda ripoff clone, whatever. Mm -hmm. Huh. I just thought of something, which I'm gonna check later. In terms of tables and everything. You know, this camera can clip to the table itself. So I can, we can put it wherever. Ah, checkpoint. Good time for a save. So that was close, definitely. Guy, will you please stop laughing? It's not funny anymore. Is it Magnus time? Nope. It's two dickheads time. Can I defend, please? Or are they gonna tell me? have ruined everything. Now That's what I do. Can never be redeemed. Our what? great experiment for nothing. For nothing. Did you learn to speak in the Resident Evil school of speaking? Oh damn it, I don't want to waste time on this. Ow. Okay, that's not funny. Ow. Sheesh. Yep, that's what he does. Remember slap him? He's dead, okay. He's dead, Jim. <clears throat> Thanks, Carter. Thanks. 
Thanks for dropping by, always happy to see you, man. <laughs> Sharing humor and theories. Have a good night, my man. Till next time. Swipe. Yeah, I touched this and things fucked up and I ended here. Ended up here. Fuck me if I even know how. Oh, we're back in the original hole. Yeah. I think. Yep, that's where the weapons were. That's where I came in from. So this like... The prison kind of shifts through time, I guess. What's wrong? Yeah. But we did talk to the Hilden scientist guy. Builder. Oh, wait, Carter. Damn it, we didn't ask him if that's Turel. I really want to know if that's Turel. The, the creature that we saw. That's not the mass, right? Really? I forgot that. Really? Yeah. How, how, how did that even happen here? Wait. Hold on, that doesn't make sense. He made this centuries ago. How how could he have... Yana's died... After centuries. I'm, I'm confused. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. It makes no fucking sec sense. Is there another checkpoint? No, oh, that's not a weapon. I love the axes. Yeah, <laughs> were they havoc and malice? They jump up there. Nope. Very selective with where I can jump. Oh, what if I jump on this? Damn. That's broken. Okay, never mind. Uh, what does this mean? Look. Oh, it, yeah, never mind. The fuck was that? What's going on with the light? Is it normal? Oh, Jesus, not this guy. Run! Can I climb on something and avoid him? Oh, there we go, the bridge. Should I drop him in the water again? No, there we go. Okay, he's out. He's not dying, still, just dancing in the water. Dancing in the water, oh, oh, dancing in the water. <laughs> when Cain pulled the switch, he did a stitch, and he's dancing in the water, oh, oh, dancing in the water. It's a very interesting level, really. Very long level, I think it's longer than the canyon. Oh, look, 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 it went dark in here? Nope. Oh, you're pulling Silent Hill on me? Yep, you probably told you I didn't fight anyone. Ha! Ah! Blue balls. I hope I finish in the next 50-ish minutes. Because I would really like to be done with this level. 85%. Well, 90 by now, I think. Imagine if I were streaming an hour, like when I started. I would play this for a month. Yeah, that's how we started. An hour of session.
I want to use it on him just to see what happens. Nothing. Oh, so stiff. That's the fastest. Look, I can go very slow, but then I. Can I open it? What do you mean, like OB? What's like OB? Huh. <laughs> Every time he does that, it's funny. It's like a scared cat. Oh, that's not good. So I quickly need to telekinesis that thing. Nah. I think even when we started with... That's... Those sessions were already about two hours. I doubt they were an hour, but we can check on YouTube. I know, the, like the first first streams, they did Quantum Break and OG Resident Evil 1 and 2. Those were an hour a session. That was ridiculous. Just seems like that's why it, it took me five episodes per Resident Evil game. Now I could finish a game in a session or two. Whoa! A bell fell. So many enemies, both stone and flesh. I won't lift a finger. I will destroy you with my mind. What did he do? Oh wait, I should have gotten another power from the guy. He is a boss. Oh So keep using touch. I have only half health. Wait, I should save. In case it glitches. Feels like our that's cause you're having fun, my man. Feels very short for me too, especially if we're playing off stream when I'm not like getting tired by talking non stop. How? Because we had eye contact. So it's okay, I'll be back with full health. So that's what I'm gonna get from him, huh? No! I thought he was already burning it. Okay, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. <laughs> yeah, you can see his power actually. Look! It shows his power. Immolate. In the upper right. That's pretty cool. You can't strafe in this game. So it can harm me when they just stand behind it. <laughs> the way he's laughing. So will we learn why he was here? He Kane knew him as well, right? There we go. So when do I fight him now? Oh, we're going to the next room. He's really angry about something. Why does he have that on his back? Like, because he knew all the other vampires, I Kane, 
I, I assume he knew this guy too, and he was he did something horrible, and he was condemned here into this prison that only appears in this game and never uh, mentioned again. Not even in Nazgat multiplayer, was it a map? Because this would be a great multiplayer map. So what now? Like those red statues? Hold in sight? Huh, yeah. So ba basically to run into this. It's very hard to use telekinesis here when everything is so janky. Do they dodge to the side or... Did it work? I don't know, I heard something but I can't tell. So dodging, not jumping around. Oh, that didn't work. Let's try again. Do I need to use the telekinesis on that? Come here. Come on, asshole. Where is he? Boy. Where are you, boy? I hate when it does that. It's like... It's like oh. You know what? I'm gonna use it right away. See what happens. Wow, that's a lot of health off of me. What now? What? What's hitting me? So I don't know why I did that, I could have done it from a distance, from a safe distance. Did it take any health over him? Because I don't see it. Come on, come on boy, I don't have all day, come here, damn it has like really short range for telekinesis, bullshit, I call bullshit. Why does he break? What am I doing wrong? Hey, that's Mobius' statue. It has the Mobius trip. Wait, where are we? Really? I forgot there's Mobius... Like a mention of Mobius in this game. The Mobius trip. It's called the Mobius trip. Why does it? Why am I failing at this? I just need to make a guy angry and oh, it worked this time. All right, one more. Oh, 
on here. Come on. Oh, he's stuck. Oh, it's horrible. Is he already gonna be stuck on that? Yeah. Hmm? I can't. It's right behind me, the thing I need to. I'm in a good position and good angle. I hope he will move first. Almost had him. Spirits have told me to destroy you. Spirits have told me. Spirits have told me to destroy you. Okay. I came so fast his head fell off. Spirits have told me to destroy you. Ah oh, damn it, he dead missed. Come back! Yeah, okay, if I do this right, it should be good. Oh! I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. Fuck! How about I move these now? Oh, you have to be closer. Isn't that wonderful? Close enough now. Spirits have told me to destroy you. What? Where? Ooh. Okay, now. No, sometimes he does it on his own. That's the fourth one, right? Here we go. Yeah! Where did I see the statue? In a Soul Reaver game? Shit. So... Just make him charge this way, huh? No, don't come this way! Is that it? I think it is. The Mobius trip? Why? That's pretty fucking awesome. Something really cool in this game. So weird to see Mobius when there nothing connects to the rest of the games. Where is he? Now. 
it should like break, right? He keeps doing it himself. Does he recognize me at all? But he will. Stuff. There we go. There you go. That's what it had to have. But it's not gonna kill him, it's gonna return his memory. Mobius still f fucking things around. It looks like he just gently lied on top of him. Sire, wait. What trickery is this? No trickery, sire. I am your servant once again, your champion. Pathetic wretch. I have no... Magnus? Could it be? It is I, sire. How is this possible? Here, in this cursed place, was my finest warrior. The Seraphon had fallen before him by the score. Together, he and I were invincible. Until... Magnus, the traitor. Is this your reward for betraying me to the Seraphan Lord? Sire, I did not... You left my camp in the night to join with my enemy, like all the others. Sire, no. I wanted only to serve you. I thought in my pride I would strike a blow that would end the war. I went to kill the Seraphan Lord, alone. I was your champion. You never returned. I failed you. I tried to kill him. Even now, I cannot remember how he defeated me. I was struck down, helpless at his feet, and then, through his foul magic, he took my mind and transported me here to this hellhole. But what of you, sire? I heard that you were dead. Well, not so dead as some would like to have me. As you see, I have returned. Magnus, my champion, you have suffered long enough. It is with pride that I grant you your death. Thanks. Sire, my thanks. It's really sad the only guy who actually worked for him was fucked up beyond recognition. Okay, that's a good part. This is like, this kind of redeems the game. This is a pretty good part. Really the best level in the game so far. And it kind of does feel like... Yeah. Go, my friend. Be free as the rest of us, living or dead, can never be. Chapter 9, The Device, Into the Deaths. Okay. How long is this one, huh? I sense a change in you. You found the Builder. You are perceptive. He gave me his blood as a gift. I gave in return the gift he most wanted. Death. You are ready to descend to the device. Time grows short. Is that Yaros? Is drawn from me. The device is alive. You must destroy it. What can you tell me of the creature yeah, the within? Voice. The slaves speak of it as the mass. It has great power, yet it is just an animal. The blood in your veins will kill it. <laughs> no, that is, it's not Yaros. How do I reach the device? This passage will lead you there. I will return when the device is destroyed. Is he the mass? Wait. You must know okay. your true enemies. My captors. They are not of this world. They control the glyph magic by which Meridian is enslaved. 
they pull the strings of the Saravan while in the disguise of the Glyph Rites. They are called the Hilden, and their leader is, of course, the Saravan Lord. <sighs> they are powerful creatures, Cain. You will encounter them below. Beware their magic. <gasps> now, find the mass. <clears throat> Destroy the device. You may toast my victory at day's end. Until then. Till dog. Fuck you. Okay, that's we're 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 off somewhere. It's good to see that. Device zero percent. Okay, so it'll start from that cutscene next time. I'm pretty sure. Let's end it here for tonight. It's gonna. What? What? But we have an IP switch in thirty minutes. Um, we're gonna. We're gonna continue this tomorrow, but uh, because I can't get far really in the level, and I'm tired anyway, I'm gonna end it here. Yes, pussy, you're very hairy, pussy. Hi, pussy. I would raise her. I don't know what she's gonna say. She's gonna say, what the fuck? <laughs> Hi, kitty. Kitty, kitty. Much, 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 much. So thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, Carter's somewhere there in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> zombie chow like that thanks for for hanging around zombie oh very i'm sorry it's you're not around at the better game than blood omen but this was a pretty good part this was the be best part of blood omen 2 actually and uh from what i understand from sasha that's janos there the the, the dog creature that from because this is another timeline i don't need even get it they'll explain in defiance i'm pretty sure Reverted to beast form for this summer. Okay, reverted. So they were beasts some time ago. God knows, like ah, yeah. shoehorned in. But yeah. Oh my God, so much hair. What happened to you? Look at this. Shedding. Let's see who we can raid. If anyone's streaming. Shubali do raidy raidy. Come on. Come on. Dirty's playing Dead Rising 2. It's off the record. <laughs> sure, why not? Dirty. My my uh, uh, long lost sister, apparently. Alright, folks. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. Thank you, Zombie, for being around here and. Uh, Say hi to Dirty. I'll see you all tomorrow. Wait, I have a mouse. I gotta I gotta remember that. I connected the mouse. Bye! <laughs>